if you're not broke yet from buying Lego, you will be. You will be. It is May 1st, which means Lego has begun celebrating Star Wars Day. They're celebrating by launching some new sets, including the UCS X-Wing. There are also some new promos and incentives if you're purchasing anything Lego Star Wars. But before we walk into the store, I thought I'd show you some of the sets on display. I like how the Defender is posed on this rugged landscape. And also the Lego Lord of the Rings, Rivendell, is displayed very nicely here in the storefront window and comes with a whopping 15 minifigures. However, we're here today for these GWPs. So you've got three going on right now, and you can get all three if you make a purchase of 150 US dollars or more on LEGO Star Wars purchases. There are five sets that are eligible for five times VIP points, which include the Dark Trooper Helmet, the Ambush on Ferrix, Boba Fett's Throne Room, the AT-ST 4 Plus set, and the Justifier. If you're not interested in these five sets, you still get two times VIP points on all LEGO Star Wars purchases, which include the new releases to celebrate 40 years of the movie Return of the Jedi. There's also a handful of the Mandalorian-inspired sets, which include this one. The LEGO Store employees collaborated together to bring you this display of Endor, which includes some battle scenes, a little bit of the Ewok village, and just different scenes from Return of the Jedi, since we're celebrating 40 years of that movie. They also have the TIE Bomber and different sets that are for sale at this very moment. Here's a closer look at the Ewok Village custom build. You also have some stormtroopers here cornering the rebels. Also new to May 1st is the Little Mermaid Royal Clamshell. Though there aren't many people flocking to get this one, they're mostly congregating around the LEGO Star Wars sets. So this is my May 1st LEGO haul. I've got the ATTE Walker to help me qualify for the three promos. Because why not? It's nothing new, but it's good to have, as well as this Snow Trooper Battle Pack. You can never have too many of them, right? So these are the three promos that I'm going to be focusing on in this video. And also, if you stay to the end of the video, I'll show you what I got in my Brick Cups. All right, so all three promos have this logo for celebrating 40 years of Return of the Jedi. We're going to start by opening this box because this is the most exciting. It's got an exclusive Luke Skywalker minifigure. Nope, just kidding. It's just a coin. So we've got the plans of the Death Star 2 and a commemorative coin. There we go. Let's see, get a closer look at that. So pretty cool, but I would have much rather an exclusive minifigure. And how cool would that have been if that minifigure came in this nice deluxe box? Okay, with that promo aside, no, really, it's still visible. Camera here. We're going to take a look at the Death Star 2 build with 289 pieces. It's ages 18 and up. No kids. So the contents include... A construction manual? Yes, that's right, a construction manual. Because we're constructing the Death Star here, people. And also pieces separated in two stages of building. Well, there was a third stage, but uh, you know how that goes. Okay, I'm done building. I can't say that this is completed, because the Death Star 2 never was completed. This is the most complete that it will ever be. Let's just say that it's fully operational. Now witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. Most pieces used in this build are pretty standard. 
However, you do get this printed brick with the 40 years Return of the Jedi logo. And here's how this build scales up with a brick built R2-D2, a minifigure, and a micro fighter. Also, inside the Death Star is a hidden Easter egg. I, I don't know why that Easter egg's there. It shouldn't be there. But once you remove it, you can see what is inside a little bit better. There's a representation of Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and the Emperor. Because they were all studs in the movie. Setting that to the side, let's now take a look at the X-Wing Starfighter. This is available for $5 at Target and Walmart, so it's not really anything special, but you do get it with purchases of $40 US or more. So here's what the completed X-Wing looks like in flight mode. They use lightsaber hilts for the ion thruster exhaust. Um, they've used minifigure ski poles for the laser cannons. Overall, it looks pretty good for this scale. The S-foils do close all the way, but there are gaps in between those ion thrusters. And here's what it looks like in fight mode. Now, the S-foils, you have to be careful with the alignment or else you could end up with this. So there are no limits to how the wings bend. So you just have to angle them to your liking. Here's how the X-Wing scales to a minifigure. Now you can stand this X-Wing up in flight mode with the wings resting on the table and there's no landing gear in the front. So it balances out like that. Or if you're in flight mode, the nose just sinks down on the table. Or you can add a couple plates to your build from your own collection so that the landing gear stabilizes that nose and sits on your table nicely. So I've started something new. I'm going to add these three promos to my promo shelf. So this is my promos shelf where I've got all of my promotional GWPs here. Uh, a lot of them are older. However, as we go on throughout the year, I plan on moving a lot of this stuff out and just having this year's promos uh, fill up this shelf. So as 2023 goes on, I'm just going to have this year's promos extend all the way out there. So at least I'll have one for every month. Uh, I may not get every single one of them, like the Bionicle one, for example, I don't have. But I'll get enough to fill up the shelf anyway. There we go. Made the fourth promos have been added. I haven't built the Easter Bunny yet, so I just put the Death Star plans right in front of it. And just so you know, in order to get to this shelf, I have to use a stepladder. Okay, now's the time where I open up my brick cups from the pick-a-brick wall at the Lego store. Utilize all the space in my cups that I can. Second cup. That's quite a lot of pieces for $32, don't you think? I tried to stay with neutral colors because I find myself building a lot a lot of times with neutral colors, tiles, plates, bricks, they're all the useful pieces that you can't go wrong with. So starting the sorting process, I've got it sorted enough just to give you an idea of all the elements that I got. Sorting ever really done in LEGO? I feel like we're always forever sorting. I didn't get too many large items but the large items that were available are pretty cool, like these double doors. Got lots of 2x2 two two tiles in dark tan. Some 1x3 bricks. Some 1x8 and 1x6 tiles in white. I didn't realize um, they were different sizes. I thought they were all 1x8s. I would have gotten more of the 1x6s. So here's some 1x2 bricks, yellow and blue. Some 2x2 plates in olive green with that 45 degree cut 
some one by one bricks, some more plates, uh, connecting plates, jumper plates, uh, some more bricks, dark gray, light gray, inverted slopes, plates, and a lot of one by ones that you can add to your cup as filler to fill in all the gaps. And that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.